welcome back to my channel this week ng tv click on the subscription button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting my updates each time it drops and also don't forget to like my videos thank you so much okay this is an update of the widow who was tied and flogged over allegations she is a witch she gets a makeover after leaving the hospital mrs amarachi okizie the widow tied and flogged over allegations she is a witch looks so beautiful following a makeover she received after leaving the hospital human rights activist harrison guamnishu shared new photo and video of mrs amarachi okizie looking all glammed up after she recovered video shared online two weeks ago youths in her community umuegu in amai Wato autonomous community mba ben the local government area of abia state could be seen flogging her after tying her up or rather tying her hands according to harrison who shared the video mrs okezie was assaulted over claims made by her late husband's brother's wife that she is a witch after her story was made public, Mrs. Okezie was admitted in the hospital where she was given a medical attention. The wife of the Abia State Governor, Mrs. Nkechi Ibazo, also came to her rescue. In a new video he shared online, Harrison stated that he has taken Mrs. Okezie to his place in Asaba, as she cannot return to her hometown in Abia due to the trauma she experienced. According to Harrison, he said, the widow they called a witch, tied and beaten. What more can I say than thank you God for using this platform for humanity? After Mrs. Amarachi left the hospital, she couldn't go back to her community because of her abusers and she was also traumatized. I instructed they bring her to my house in Asaba Delta State. She needed to heal from here from her past and I offered to be her son and took the burden. I will continue to support and use my platform to protect vulnerable widows and I urge everyone to do same. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like my video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.